Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a few weeks since I, you know, I've uploaded, but you know, I've been kind of lazy also, and uh, I'm, I'm in the process of moving as well, so things are kind of crazy. But today we're gonna be talking about like things sick. not to do in Bulgaria. And uh, today I have eight things of what you shouldn't do in Bulgaria. So let's just go ahead and get started. Also, if, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. So the first thing you don't want to do is you don't want to confuse the nods in Bulgaria. So it's kind of confusing to most of us that are from Bulgaria, but in Bulgaria, in order to say yes, uh, you have to nod your head or shake your head side to side. And in order to say no, you have to nod your head up and down. And I know that's very confusing for like everyone else, but that's just how they do it in Bulgaria. And this is extremely helpful if like you're in, like in a bar or something or like in a restaurant and they ask you, you know, if you want more coffee or do you want an extra beer and say, you try to say yes and you nod your head, you're not gonna get that extra beer because you just basically told them no, you know? So definitely it's very helpful to know that. So just don't confuse that when you go to Bulgaria. The second don't you don't wanna do in uh, Bulgaria is you don't wanna drink in public in the city of Varna. Uh, Varna is like this port city and which has, you know, in the last few years has gotten like a lot more, you know, touristy and so like a lot more drunk tourists essentially. And so the mayor just basically banned uh, public drinking um, like in the alleyways and parks and whatnot because, you know, tourists are just getting too fucked up. So thank you guys for fucking that shit up, right? But anywhere else except for Varna, you can drink in public essentially. Um, actually, um, you know, I think we actually did that um, one night when I was in, in uh, Bulgaria. It was a really fun night. Okay, so the third don't about Bulgaria is if your systems, like, I guess if you're driving, don't stop at stop signs. I know it's kind of confusing, uh, but you know, I think Bulgarians you know, aren't the best, at or at least in the past weren't the best at stopping at stop signs. And But I guess now, just if you're gonna be driving, um, just be extra careful, you know, um, sometimes, you know, so I guess some people might stop, some people might, might not, um, so just be extra careful when you're driving. The fourth don't about Bulgaria is you don't want to go and like not know something about the country. Like go, and, but like, you know, um, you know, brush up on the history at least. You know, they have tons and tons of uh, interesting history, um, you know, and uh, you just learn some history about it. So at least you have something to talk about if you meet a Bulgarian. The fifth don't, and this is partly I would say like if you're like gonna be, you know, having dinner with like a Bulgarian family or something, but don't empty your drink if you don't want it to be refilled that makes sense so say you're you know gonna be um you know if you're drinking wine you know don't empty it out or it's basically i would say finish it all um if you don't want it to be refilled because if you finish it it'll just be refilled the six don'ts and this is actually a really big one um I sh it should have been number two but um uh, don't leave without trying bulgarian yogurt trust me guys is the best yogurt you will ever taste and honestly, it's like I think the most healthiest yogurt you could ever have as well because there's like this very specific bacteria that's only found in Bulgaria. And for some reason, that bacteria just makes it like really, really good. And it has like this yogurt, it has like this, it's kind of like a sour tasting yogurt, but still it's way better than any other yogurt I've ever had. And so I really recommend it, honestly. Do not leave without trying it. The seven don'ts about Bulgaria is don't assume that they speak Russian. Um, they don't, they speak Bulgarian, they have their own language, okay? Um, and also, like, don't assume that, or don't think that they, uh, use the Russian alphabet because they don't. In fact, um, Bulgaria, um, they, you know, they created their own alphabet, it's like, the, I think it's called the Cyrillic alphabet. And what happened, it was, you know, Russia, you know, basically took that alphabet and just tweaked it up a little bit. And, you know, and they called it Russian. And so now, obviously, that, you know, Russia is a bigger country, has more influence in the world. Um, now a lot of people just think, oh, it's, you know, Russian or whatever, but no, it's not. Um, it's, you know, this, this sort of like alphabet or like Bulgarian essentially. And I guess the last don't, and again, this is like if you're going to be staying at, you know, someone's house or even just going into someone's Bulgarian's house, uh, don't wear your shoes inside, um, uh, because, you know, it's thought, you know, and it's true actually, um, you know, the outside world, you know, out on the sidewalks and you know, the streets dirty right and you know you get that on your shoes and by going into someone's house with your shoes on you're just bringing like that filth from the from the, from the streets into someone's house so you don't want to do that just take off your shoes when you go inside someone's house okay you guys so that's gonna go ahead and conclude the don'ts about Bulgaria but I do want to say um, when I did visit Bulgaria um, I had a, I had an incredible time and I actually did create like a like a short uh, travel video uh, when I, about my time in Sofia 
Um, it was super fun. I know we met some, you know, really nice Bulgarians. I know they took us out to these uh, like clubs. Uh, it was I had tons of fun. I got back home like at five in the morning and I had to be up by like eight to catch a bus. Uh, but either way, I had tons of fun. I actually ended up like extending my trip out like, by like an extra day just because I really I really did enjoy it. And I was in the capital, and so there's like this like mountain. And it's like this, I guess, like a volcanic mountain. I'm, I'm not exactly too sure, but um, the water that comes out of like the, you know the public, you know, water uh, streams, um, the water comes out kind of warm. Uh, but trust me, it's still very, very good. Uh, the water tastes really good, and also I guess it's supposed to have like these like minerals or something that are like uh, these like elements to it. I don't know what, but it's supposed to like you know be like you know healing to your body, um, but. Um, but I mean, I don't know who's to say. Okay guys, so that's gonna go ahead and conclude this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will have another link down to my video um, of my time in Bulgaria as well. It'll be down in the, in the link description if you wanna watch that. But either way though, I really just wanna thank you guys for watching and I'm excited to make more videos for you guys. So I'll see you guys soon.